I have got to talk to you, though, about Prince Harry and the latest front pages. Every single front page this morning is talking about how he wants to return to the royal fold. This was something that we discussed yesterday. And The Sun on Sunday, Harry Blocker. This is an interesting headline. Uh, apparently, AIDS stopped Prince Harry travelling to Sandringham to visit King Charles, his father, because they thought they'd never get rid of him. You know those house guests that you sometimes get that sort of come for dinner or come and stay the night and you think, it's time for you to leave now. Well, that's what they were thinking might be the case with Prince Harry. Prince Harry was stopped from joining the King at Sandringham after flying to the UK because the palace feared they'd never get rid of him. I mean, it's quite bad. Meanwhile, front page of The Express says, you know what? Wills won't allow Harry back in the family and that actually it is Prince William that is blocking any return of Prince Harry coming back into the family. Who can blame him? Every single time Harry has got anywhere near the family, he has, of course, tried to monetize the entire incident. Uh, yesterday... And uh, the videos on YouTube, we spoke a little about how the 12 minutes that he spent with his father ended up being discussed in a television interview within a few days. Let's not forget that Harry was not averse to discussing the private details of visiting the body of the late Queen in his book. I mean, he literally put the details of visiting the Queen's body in a book. So I absolutely understand why members of the family might be saying, you know what, let's limit the amount of time that Prince Harry spends with the family because every single aspect of it will end up somehow being monetized, either through some sort of wailing interview where he complains about every single aspect of his life, or, of course, a best-selling book. And it did do well, that book. It, 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 I'll tell you another book that did quite well, Finding Freedom. Do you remember Finding Freedom? That was Omid Scobie's book before the latest one, the book that Harry and Meghan both contributed to and then, of course, forgot that they contributed to. So, again, I would be very, very sceptical about allowing either of the Montecito miseries anywhere near any aspect of my life because it would end up in a best-selling book, a best-selling book that they would probably forget that they'd written or forget that they had contributed to. And bearing in mind that uh, Meghan herself has declared that she may well write a book, Again, I would be extremely sceptical. And there was an interesting story in Vanity Fair, actually. I love a bit of Vanity Fair. And apparently, Meghan Markle has reached out to Kate Middleton. Could you think of anything worse if you had just had major surgery than Meghan Markle appearing at your bedside. Honestly, you'd literally, you'd be saying, take me back into hospital. Take, put me back under the surgeon's knife. I don't need a lecture on unconscious bias from the Montecito miseries. Please put me back into hospital. You couldn't think of anything worse, could you? Of them coming to visit you when you're feeling a bit rough. Absolutely not, thank you very much indeed. And again, if we want a lecture on unconscious bias, Megan, let's talk about your wedding. Remember? I mean, the only black faces at your wedding were that of Idris Elba and Oprah Winfrey. Two people you barely knew. Oh, and let's not forget Serena Williams. Any of your own family that were black faces, nowhere near your wedding. Even your own niece, who was the daughter, who was the daughter of Samantha Markle, your half-sister, she wasn't at your wedding either. So let's talk about unconscious bias, shall we, Megan?
Now, of course, she says that she wants to visit Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton, tight-lipped on that one, I would say. And uh, I wouldn't blame her for that because, of course, again, anything could end up in a book. And I just would be very sceptical of that as well. You know, Megan turning up at your bedside. You'll find out in a few weeks after that, wouldn't you? Well, the bed sheets were too white. The bed sheets were racist. They were extremely white, those bed seat sheets. I don't like them. Those bed sheets had unconscious bias, didn't they? Meanwhile, Kate would be lying there going, oh, my word, why have I got this woman next to me? Send me to Dignitas. Get me on a flight. I want it all to be over. So, no, thank you very much indeed. Did you see in the Netflix documentary they wheeled out that poor niece of theirs? I mean, poor Megan's niece. So they ditched Megan's niece from the wedding, right, because they didn't want any of Megan's family there, other than Doria, of course. Um... Nice to see a black face at the wedding that was actually related to Meghan, actually. Her mother, the only one. Um, her niece, Samantha Markle's daughter, wasn't invited to the wedding. And then they wheeled her out for the Netflix documentary to say, oh, I completely understand. I was really hurt at the time, but I completely understand now. And you think, well, really? That's very magnanimous of you, as you sit in your auntie's mansion, I suppose. So... It's all a little bit murky. And the point I made yesterday as well is it's all well and good. Prince Harry talking about illness, wanting to reconcile you with your family. But the serious heart attack and strokes that Meghan's father have had certainly didn't reconcile Meghan to her father, did they? So I think it's a bit rich that suddenly, when it comes to being able to rejoin the royal family, which of course is where the money is, uh, that suddenly they're talking about being... Uh, this wonderful family and reconciling. Prince William, of course, not having one jot of it. Saying absolutely not. He's quashed any prospect of a royal reconciliation. The Duke of Sussex, uh, or, or should we call them Sussex.com, because that's what they are now. And don't you dare forget to use those awful royal titles that are associated with racism and colonialism. Don't you dare forget to use those when you're talking to Meghan and Harry. Uh, the Duke of Sussex is understood to have told uh, to have had several warm exchanges with his father following his cancer diagnosis and has told friends he would step into a royal role while the King Charles is unwell. Um... Yeah, I wonder what kind of royal role that would be. Um, but William has enough on his plate and will not allow Harry's return to any royal role. It'll end up in a book. It'll end up in an interview. It'll end up in a documentary series. That's the problem. They're always looking for material. Did you see this week as well that Meghan is going to be redoing her podcast? They've found another production company now. I mean, bearing in mind that staff that work with Meghan and Harry literally last five minutes. I mean, what are we now? We're a few minutes into this programme and they've already lost three members of staff, I'd say, since we started, because they just have a turnover of staff. Like, honestly, the turnover of staff at Google is slower than at their place, you know, archetypes and Archwell and all of those sorts of things. So anyway, Megan's going to be redoing her podcast. I want, do you think she might actually turn up for any of the recordings this time? We're not sure. Because, of course, when it came to the celebrity interviews last time, oh my word, she was there like the proverbial off a shovel. But when it came to actually any of the, the hard work and interviewing real people, not interested. Not interested in actually meeting anyone who is a real person. So... A royal source apparently said there's no way that Prince of Wales will wear it. Harry may well want to step into a royal role. But as far as his brother is concerned, nothing has changed. Prince William has enough on his plate at the moment. His father's being treated for cancer. His wife is recovering from abdominal surgery. He simply doesn't have the bandwidth for this. Reports of Harry seeking a partial return to royal duties emerged when he appeared to offer a very public olive branch to his family in an interview on US TV to promote next year's Invictus Games in Canada. Uh, the interviewer asked the 39-year-old Duke of Sussex 
um, how his whirlwind visit to see his father at Clarence House following his cancer diagnosis was emotionally. Everything's emotional in America, isn't it? Harry replied, I love my family. The fact I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend any time with him, I'm grateful for that. Hmm. I wonder how Thomas Markle will feel reading all of that, knowing how easy it is to get on a plane to go and see people when you're not feeling 100%. Must make him feel thrilled. So anyway, there we go. That's the latest with them. Kinsey will be here with some more uh, on those stories. <laughs> Though someone here on the text, I'd like to see that rematch with the dog bowl. Says, wait, do you remember the dog bowl? I don't know the dog bowl story. Oh, it's awful. So when William and Harry had their big fight in Kensington Palace and uh, apparently Prince William hit Prince Harry or attacked him or slapped him or something like that. I mean, come on, let's be honest, we've all been tempted. Um, apparently Prince Harry fell over and fell into the dog bowl and it left a very serious mark on his back. So... I think that that means that he was attacked by a dog bowl. A very, very serious injury that you can get with pet supplies. Very, I'm, do you know, I'm surprised they haven't tried to monetize that with pets at home. You know, look, look at how versatile these dog bowls are. We'll sell them on Sussex.com. We'll take a cut. And, you know, that means that they'll get some money from it indestructible royal bowl. No, they're not royal now. It won't be the indestructible royal bowl. It'll just be the indestructible bowl. The indestructible Sussex bowl. Yes. Comes in any colour other than white, of course. <laughs> 0344 1000 is the number to call. Please get rid of the Muppet. I think you mean Harry and not me, but it could be either. <laughs> 